I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy, Ten of Pentacles, and it's with the Queen of Wands. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, it actually is sh showing that you had a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health, all those things would have been going really well. So, you might have had to consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we get back what we give out. Now, it's with the Queen of Wands, which can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire type of energy. <clears throat> This person would be Aries, Leo, or, or Sagittarius. When it's not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. Often a focus on work or career. The queen is very positive, uplifting energy. So when she stands for an actual person in your life, she's actually a good friend who is solidly on your side. Even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive, and you get the Queen of Wands in your reading, well, this is one of the most positive signs that there can be. So, recent past energy for you and your person, Ten of Pentacles, clarified by this Queen of Wands. So the message that I'm picking up is that, yeah, the relationship was good, or at least it felt good, it felt right. Because the Ten of Pentacles is a card that everyone wants in a reading. It can be about commitment, the connection, um, going to the next level, engagement, marriage, childbirth. It's actually a very peaceful, happy period in your life. Also, Ten of Pentacles can mean a second chance. So, maybe you gave someone a second chance. Ten of Pentacles can also mean a lot of money. So I'm getting for some of you, your money was really, really good. And your person was very determined about you. Very determined about the connection. Because the Queen of Wands is very determined. Can be egotistical and used to getting what they want. Very confident and knows her worth. The person was very, very much so into you and into the connection. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and why don't we see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Five of Cups and it's with Two of Swords. Now, the Five of Cups is actually a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives <clears throat> and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that when you get the Five of Cups in a reading, you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure it's for your highest good. Because when you get the Five of Cups, there's some type of disappointment. Now, it's with the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords tells us that your partnerships or a partnership is likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's a friendship, romantic, or business. But you'll have to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the connection and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it may be time to bring things back into balance. <clears throat> but this definitely requires open communication. 
So, Five of Cups, clarified by this Two of Swords. For what's coming up for you and your person? Well, like I said, there's some type of disappointment. Something happened, maybe a lover's quarrel, or maybe a person said something or did something. And you're disappointed. Very much so, because that's what the Five of Cups is about. And the Two of Swords is about... It can be about avoiding and blocking. So, yeah, I'm getting for a lot of you, you, you might start to avoid and block your person. You didn't like what they said or you didn't like what they did. It left you disappointed. Yeah, so... That's what I'm getting. You're, you're gonna. It's showing that you you may choose to avoid and block this person. You're disappointed coming up, but let's see what the challenge is gonna get, be. Maybe we'll get some some more clarity. Okay, so we got the three of wands, and so the page of wands. Now the three of wands with this card, you're likely to find your finances could be going much better. In fact. It could probably start to feel like your ship has finally arrived. You could be feeling really strong with a good reason. You may find, will finally start to experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. This three of wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it does mean that your efforts, they're seen, they're appreciated. And well respected. Now it's with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands can be about warm, ambitious, high achievers. If this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So it's about trying to stay focused. It can indicate that things you started some time ago, they could be starting to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. The page brings a positive energy, but because of the energy of easy distraction and needing to stay focused, it's important to supply the follow-through. <laughs> so your challenge, Pisces, Three of Wands, clarified by Page of Wands. Yeah, so, like I said, your person, they know you're disappointed about something that happened. Something they said or did. Yeah, with the Page of Wands, it's shown that they, they could be reaching out to you because the Page of Wands will reach out with messages of love and affection. This person has a lot of passion for you. Yep, a lot of passion, Page of Wands. That That's what it can be about, so they're trying to communicate They'll, they should be trying to reach out to you they've got something to say um but it looks like you've made a decision because the three of wands is actually about making a, a decision and going forward it's about not looking back because you've made a decision to go forward with expansion and growth so you could have your eyes on something else or maybe someone else yeah you're going forward for, for some some of you you feel like your ship has finally arrived maybe it's a new maybe it's a uh, something that you're starting trying to start and it's finally happening for you or maybe it's another person that you're seeing and you feel like you're going to have better luck there. You're getting on board and your person is trying to reach out to you. Um, like I said, they got a lot of passion for you. This person who we talked about, this recent past energy person. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Four of Cups. And it's with the High Priestess. Now the Four of Cups can be a card about wishful thinking. 
It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now, count your many blessings, and not to worry too much about what could be, because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. Be sure you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away, because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now, it's with the High Priestess. The High Priestess can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. She's tied to the moon, femininity, and the inspiration. So, this would actually be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind. Or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it would be a really good idea. Yeah, as a high priestess, it can be a magical, mystical time for love for anyone interested because you could find um, people literally throwing themselves at you. Now, the problem with that is. You'll attract all kinds, the good, the bad, the ugly, and it's not always easy to tell which is which. So your outcome, Pisces, four of cups, clarified by High Priestess. Yeah, so your person has realized that you're going forward. You've made a decision to get on board without them. Four of Cups can be about um, having regret and just wishing your life away. Because if you look at the Four of Cups, it's a card above the word outcome. You see this man, he's sitting in a park. He's got his head down. People are probably walking past him, looking and staring. But he's so stuck on regret and wishing things were different. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. He's so stuck in um, uh, yeah, not counting his blessings and just wishing, 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 feeling self pity. Yeah, he's just stuck in his head with that. So much. Is, that his hand is bleeding and he, he can't even get up to take care of himself. So your person is really having a lot of regret and wishing that things were different. They see that you were moving on. Yeah, a lot of you have already gotten on board and have taken off without your person. Yep. They'll be trying to reach out to you with the Page of Wands here. But like I said, it looks like the Two of Swords is showing you you're going to block this person. Or just avoid them. They're very attracted to you with the High Priestess showing up here. High Priestess will also go silent and just sit really pretty. So that could be you, Pisces. So, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. <laughs> What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we're all going to get through this. <clears throat> so stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, 
the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. And yes, the roles, the roles can be reversed. Yes, they can. You could be your person or your person could be you. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope that all of you had a wonderful holiday. Happy New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.